Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. Look, my mom on TV. Night after night after night, but this time he's, he's after, after fresh meat. meat. In, in this corner, corner are you Dead Eye Duncan? I would love this game so much. A relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene. That's a me. From the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The mysterious stranger. That's a me. Journal entry added. Go fight the old man. Ah, eh, well, I don't want to waste a grenade on him, so let's just let's just run in here. What? Oh, I missed. Oh no! Don't. There we go. That was easy. It's over. The fight is over. The mysterious stranger has won. Yay, mysterious stranger! We love you. Are Yay! Are you surprised? Dead Eye losing isn't news. You have to do better than that to impress us, stranger. And then I stab him while he's down. I just drive the sword like through his neck. It's like, yeah, so much for no one ever dying, huh? Alright. I mean, I know why they did it for game mechanics, but I don't know how it would work, you know, scientifically. How you doing? Uh, <laughs> What I want more than anything is a new Star Wars RPG. Why has no one made, like, a new one recently? I just don't understand why. It would do so well. Well, I do like money. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. I'm always ready. Let's, uh, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you Gerlon Two Finger. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Taris dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. The mysterious stranger. Yay, it's the anal invader. Not, not the prostate doctor, but the, the fighter. It's a weird name. It's actually kind of gross when you think about it. Oh, I got you, buddy. Don't worry. Oh, is he? Oh, I thought he was taking out a med kit. I was gonna hit him. Like, oh, attack him already. Oh no. Oh, that hurt. Oh, I'm missing. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, come on, hit him. Oh. Oh, get him. All right, we got this. Don't worry, we got this. Oh, wait. Oh. Get him! Get him! Well, stop attacking, you bitch! There we go. It's over! The fight is over! The mysterious stranger has won! Yay, the anal invader! Losing to a rookie! Is this a sign that his injuries have finally caught up with him? Or is the mysterious stranger for real? Is he for Only real, guys? Will tell. Yay! Anal invader! I mean mysterious stranger, not the prostate doctor. All right, lovely. Well, let me go collect my earnings. Yeah, take that, guys. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah. 
Alright, 200 credits received. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. Let me uh, just save. Uh, I'm not going to do the next fight just because I know that I would definitely lose the next fight. Because uh, it is... Uh, I mean, it's, it's meant for a higher level, I'm pretty sure. I've never been able to do it at level 3 and win. So let me do uh, awareness and... Awareness... And it's a good question. What else do I want to do? Um, well, that's a two-point skill. Demolitions, computer use. Put in to treat injury, I suppose. It's always good. And um, two-weapon fighting. This feat reduces the attack penalty of a character wielding a double-bladed weapon or two weapons. That's definitely what I'm going to want to do. All right. Lovely. So, uh... Let's get a move on, I suppose. Oh, hello, Sarna. How you doing? Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. Well, it's very nice to meet you. You're from the military base? You don't look like one of the Sith. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sarna. Junior officer, first class with the Sith occupation force. Oh, it's very nice to meet you, Sarna. I'm, I'm Ganek Var. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Well, you're very Most pretty. people here on Taris can't stand us Sith. Can make this job pretty lonely. Oh, I can make sure you're not lonely tonight. Just, uh, just, just, let's get rid of Karth. Uh, I'm not actually from Taurus. I'm just stuck here until the quarantine ends. You're an off-worlder. <laughs> I figured you'd be even more angry being stuck on a foreign planet and all. Well, I mean, uh, being stuck on Taurus isn't so bad, but the locals aren't much fun. You know, it's like everyone on this backwater planet is in a permanent bad mood. Don't they know we have to make the best of things? Uh, you've got a pretty positive attitude. Exactly, it's all about attitude. Yeah. I didn't ask to be assigned to this backwater planet, but I tried to make the best of it. And I didn't it's ask to be stuck easy here. To get depressed on an assignment like this, but we do what we can to keep our spirits up. Like, uh, you know, go out with random strangers you meet in bars. Uh, you need to blow off steam once in a while. That's true. It's nice to meet someone who understands what I'm going through. Menopause. Good to talk about this stuff. It's pretty lonely up at the military base. Oh, is that I have so? To going soon. I've got a ship at the military base, but some of us junior Sith officers are having a party tonight to blow off some steam. Is that all you're really blowing? Like you I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We I just met. By the party. I'll show you where it is on your map. Okie dokes. It sounds good. I'll be there. Don't be late. We're starting right after our ships end. Most of us won't even be going back to the base to lock up our uniforms. I look forward to seeing you there. That seems like it would be against regulations. I would assume. That you would have to to lock up your uniforms. I mean, uh, it's Leave just what I assume. Alone. I'm not giving out any auto prints to my fans today. Uh, auto prints? What are you talking about? What? You don't recognize me? I'm Bendix Starkiller, the most famous blaster slinger on Taurus. Over 100 duels without a loss. Every one of them a death match. Oh, you don't say. You don't look so tough. Maybe you'll take me on. How come you don't hang out with the other duelists? I'm retired now. Once death matches became illegal, I just got bored with the game. I got no interest in using stun blasters. There was nobody left to challenge me anyway. I've seen you in the dueling ring, but you haven't impressed me. Now, if you could beat all these other pretenders, that might get my attention. All right, uh, I'll be back as soon as I beat all these other duelists. Good luck with that, kid. You're gonna need it. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, I'm so funny. I'm Bendak Starkiller, not related to, uh... To the other Star Killer, you know, whatever his name was, Gallic. I forget what his name was from uh, Karth. Are you stuck on the door? Karth, get over here. Karth, come on. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Wait. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. Sure. All right. Let's go. Stay with me, Karth. Don't get stuck on the door again. We need to leave. We're going to a party and hooking up with random people. But not actually. I know all you care about is their damn uniforms, but there's more to life than uniforms, Karth. I mean, she's just a lonely woman looking for love, and I'm just a lonely man who, s who sleeps in the same room as you. It's really weird. I really need... It, I just don't like it. I just don't like it, Karth. I just... I can't deal with it anymore, alright? Do you understand me? Probably not. You're not even listening to a word I say. You're All you care about is yourself. Yeah, you're just gonna be like, oh, I'm so upset because... My, uh, my, my home got destroyed and I, I couldn't stop it. Oh, good, good, good. I, I'm, I'm Carthonasi. Look at me. Professional dickbag. 
but not really. I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. That's me. Still, you are welcome here. I'll not have it said that Selka Foran refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terrace. You have a girl's you name. Healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here at the medical facility. Except the rat ghoul disease, of course. The... the rat ghoul disease? What's that? The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the rat ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into rat ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Gross. Is there no cure? Mm, there is no antidote for the disease. Though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rat Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. But I don't see how that's going to happen. Uh, maybe I could find a way to get my hands on that serum for you. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. Listen, I just got off a burning ship and landed on this planet. Serum on them, if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. Here you and go. Nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the Undercity. Oh, don't underestimate my stupidity. Please, don't say that. If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking their patrols. They could shut me down. What? I go attacking all the Sith the patrols? You, you got it, buddy. I don't actually expect anyone to get me the serum. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, I mean... No. Goodbye, and good health to you. If you ever need any medical aid or treatment, you know where to find me. <laughs> Him saying goodbye and good health just reminds me of, uh... Well, I've been watching a lot of Frasier lately, so it's like, uh... Goodbye, Seattle, and good mental health. No problem. Got it. Got it. Don't what mind are you me. Doing? Don't go in there. That door is for employees only. Oh, I just started working here. Hey, I, I recognize these men. They're Republic soldiers. Y you recognize these soldiers? But how? Unless, unless you're a friend of the Republic. That's me. I'm a friend of the Republic. You can trust me. I, uh, I guess I'd better tell you what's going on. I only hope the Sith don't find out what I've done. Since the space battle overhead, people have been secretly bringing in these Republic soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. I had to take them in. What choice did I have? Their injuries are terrible. Most won't survive. But at least I can make their last days more comfortable. And at least here, they're hidden away from the Sith. Well, for that, you have my thanks. It's good to know that at least some of these men ended up in compassionate hands. I like how I Karth faced away from him. Do if they discovered these soldiers here. But since their initial questioning, the Sith have not returned, so it may be my fears are unfounded. Is there anything I can do to help? Uh, don't worry, your secret is safe with me. Is there anything I can do? I'm afraid there's nothing more anyone can do for these soldiers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should return to the front in case anyone comes in needing medical attention. Just close the door behind you, alright? Hey, light side points. My first... my first light side points. Psst, Lovely. You there. Hello! Wait a minute. I need to talk to you about the Rat Ghoul Serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. Ooh, is that so? An offer? What are you talking about? Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rat Ghoul Serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Ten? That's it? Davik Kang? Who's that? Oh, come on. Everybody knows who Davik Kang is. Well... He's the big boss around here. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taris. All the sweet ass. You mean, he's... he's a crime lord. I prefer to think of him as a role model. Well, you're a dick. He started with nothing, and now he's got it all. Credits, power, women. It's the Teresian dream, right? Unless you're a woman, then you want men. Unless you're a lesbian, in which case, you, you do want to live with David King's life. Uh, why does he want the cure so badly? Where can I find Davik if I want to give the cure to him? Uh, why do you care who gets the cure? Look, Zelka can't afford to pay me much. If you sell the serum to Davik, I can probably get a nice finder's fee for directing you to him. Oh, is that what it is? Uh, I think I'd rather give it to, you know, Zelka. He'll use it to help people. Helping people is all well and good, but you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling you, Davik will pay big credits for the cure. More than Zelka could ever afford. Um, and then I'm only fine. The rich could afford the cure. 
Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rat Ghoul Serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Okay, well, I'll see you, buddy. Just, uh, don't mind me. Cuckoo ka -choo. Uh, what's going on over here? Looks like we have a bit of an issue. Let me just, uh... Davik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Oh. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. Well, well. Listen, I'm gonna get you the Rat Ghoul Serum, maybe. Leave this man alone or you'll have to deal with me. I don't like your attitude, I better teach you a lesson, butt face. Nah, I mean, leave him alone. Stop in the name of the Republic. That's me, by the way. The Republic. The entire Republic. That's me. Oh. you my life. That was fast. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Davik. You should buy some chapstick, sir. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. Oh, uh, may maybe I can help you. How much? You how much do you need? You saving me from those bounty hunters. So unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me, so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can do. <sighs> Fine. Take take the credits. You're giving me 100 credits? Just like that? I I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. All You're right. Giving him 100 credits. Generous. I'm now rich. Well, I'm Davik. not, but you know. You've saved my life. Thank you. I'd better take these credits to him right away. Uh, just imagine going and be like, Oh, by the way, um, so some guy just killed your your employees. But here's the money I owe you. Oh, I hope that's okay. Also, I just made back that money, so what's it matter? All right. Uh, let me just take a look around. Got some swoop bikes over here. Very nice. I should just hop on one of them and go away. Just leave this godforsaken place. Except that's not really how it works, sadly. I wish it was, but, you know, too bad for that. Uh-oh. Oh, Karth, can we talk again and be best friends? Yes, what's on your mind? No, what's on your mind? Is this a good time to ask you some more questions? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? It's it's very necessary. I would I just want I would I would just like to know more uh, about you. Oh well, if it's an interrogation you wanted, why don't you say so? Excellent. Soon all your secrets will be mine. All my secrets are purely of the mundane variety, unfortunately. Nothing worth extracting, though. You're welcome to try. Good. First, though, I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. You have nothing so better to think about. Just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened from your perspective. Uh, well, I woke up, and there was this guy standing around, and we were like, we need to go, and I was like, why? And he was like, there's this woman called Bastila. I was like, I like women. Uh, like you said, when we first met, Bastila didn't have time to use her powers. Uh, why ask me? I don't see the point. I wasn't in a position to know what was going on, really. Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast, it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people. And then for what? In the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. Well, we yeah. that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. You, me, and Bastila. It's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I'm a soldier. I'm just a soldier. I'm sure there isn't anything unusual about that, is there? I don't know. Unless you consider that you were a last-minute addition to the crew roster and you just happened to be one of the survivors. I call it luck. Uh, you'd rather I wasn't? What's so odd about me being added to the crew at the last minute? You were the only one. Not to mention that Bastila's party was the one who requested your transfer. What? Um, why would Bastila request my transfer? The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, 
whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. Yeah, well, you're alive, so, you know, whatever. This is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. Well, don't tell me when it's your birthday, then. I'm not going to give you a party. Uh, what do you mean by surprises? I'm telling you, Carthay had nothing to do with the crash. Uh, what, what do you mean by surprises? I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. He thinks I'm actually a woman. It's because of my long, flowing hair. Are you always this suspicious? Uh, you do know we're on the same side, right? Uh, try something and it'll be the last mistake you make. You do you do know we're on the same side, right? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? Okie dokes. I consider this important. All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious, you know that? Yes. We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Okie dokes, buddy. We'll be best friends. Don't you worry. I promise you that. I promise. Hey, drunk people, what how you doing? What is this planet coming to, huh? <gasps> Shlummy's just walking around the upper city. Who are you calling a shlummy? You belong, shlummy? Hey, fuck you. This is rich. Yeah, like he said. These streets are for upper city citizens. <laughs> you better get out of the way if you know what's good for you. Oh, look at me. I'm a, I'm, I'm a drunk asshole. Uh, hey guys, we can all be friends. Let me buy you a drink. A drink? Yeah. Hey, hey, for a slummy, you ain't so bad. Aw, oh, thank Come you. Come on, boys, this slummy's buying the next round. <laughs> no way, forget it. No more drinks. No more drinks. Enough as it is. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe next time, slummy. <laughs> Come on, fellas, let's go. Okie dokes, I'll see you guys. Alright. Hey, look at that kid. Hey, let's talk to the kid. Hey, kid. How you doing, kid? Is you one of the Sith? No. My daddy says the Sith are nothing but bullies. Oh. You don't no. Look like a bully. I don't play. No, today's not bully day. Today's Star Wars day. Bullies on Wednesday. This is on Sunday. I, I changed it because I wanted to. Hello. Actually, I don't want to buy a droid, so never mind. Alright. Um. So let's head to the, uh, to the other apartment building. I know that I can get a uh, force speed later on, but I just wish there was a like a sprint option. Essentially, that'd be nice. Ugh. I absolutely love this game. It feels so good to be playing it again, and it's really nice to be playing it on PC for the first time ever with these uh, better graphics. Oh, I love it. I really do. And like I said, one of my favorite games of all time. All right. Uh... How's everything going up here, everyone? Hey, kiddo, how you doing? My mama says I have to stay out of the lower city. That's where the bad people live. Yeah, it's a great way to generalize. Uh, let me just... I'll just open this door. No problem. Got it. Got it! Oh, hello, how you doing? Don't. Don't hurt my family. Look, just take what you want and get out. Okay. <laughs> I do like that it's not... You don't get dark side points for <laughs> any of this. I mean, it's free stuff, right? So, you know, don't mind me, I guess. Oh, hey, it's the hey, party! You made it. I was beginning mm, to wonder mm, if you were going mm, to show. Mm, 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 mm. Come on in. You have to try this Teresian ale. Okay. It's fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Whoa, yeah, all right. Sauna. That wine's got quite the kick. A couple more bottles and we'll all be passed out on the floor. Oh. Who cares? We're not on duty tomorrow. Let's mm, live a little. Mm, Come on, mm, drink mm, up. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah. Party, party. Karth, you better wake me up in the morning. Oh, hurt my head. So, uh, funny story. When I first played this game, you have to remember, I was, like, in fourth or fifth grade. So I didn't actually know what it meant to get drunk or what it meant to be, um passed out, or hung over, any of that stuff. Because, you know, I was pretty young, and at the time, none of that stuff really applied to me, and it really never came up in my life. Uh, so, when I played this for the first time, I thought they all died. I thought they essentially drank themselves, to, they all drank themselves to death after one night, and I was so sad, because I was like, oh man. I mean, granted, she was a Sith, and when you think about it, she was kind of a bitch, because she was like, we should have conquered this planet ages ago, but I thought that they all died. <laughs> But, you know, now that I'm older, I actually know that they're not dead. They're just you know, passed out from all the alcohol abuse. All right, let me just take all that. Now, I'll explore all of these apartments, and I'm also going to explore all the apartments at the other 
uh, complex, you know, uh, in the south no uh, side of the city as Got well. It. Hello, Largo. Please, please don't hurt me. You don't have to kill me. I'll have Davik's money if he if he just gives me a little more time. Please, I don't want to die. Oh, it's Here. okay. I've got 50 credits on me. That's all I've got. It's yours. Just don't tell Davik where I'm hiding, okay? I'm begging you. I don't know what you're talking about. What, what are you babbling about? You mean, you're not here to kill me? Nope. But I, I thought you were one of Davik's bounty hunters. If you're not here to kill me, what do you want? I'm just breaking into people's apartments. I, uh, maybe I could help you with your problem with Davik. I don't think anyone can help me. I owe Davik money, and I was late with the payment. So he went to Zach's in the bounty office and put a price on my head. Ah, oh, you don't I've say. I've been hiding here ever since. But sooner or later, someone will find me. Unless I somehow come up with another 200 credits. I'm a dead man. Jesus Christ, 200 credits? Ugh. Ugh. Uh, don't worry, I won't tell anyone you're hiding here. Thank you. You've saved my life. Don't mention it. At least until one of Davik's bounty hunters finds me. Well, you should probably close the door. Like I was saying, I really wish someone would make a new Star Wars RPG. And I'm not talking about an MMO like the Old Republic. Frankly, I think everyone in the world would have been a lot happier if they had just released a um, Knights of the Old Republic 3 instead of um, the Old Republic. Don't get me wrong. It was a good game and I enjoyed it. But I much would have preferred a third game in the uh, Knights of the Old Republic series. Uh, give me one second, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I, uh, I saw a bug on my bed when I looked over at my, uh, audio recording and I was like, I'm gonna brutally murder that bug. And then I brutally murdered the bug, so we're all good. Uh, let me just go into my inventory real quick. Put on the Sith armor. And, uh, let's go. And then... I'll, I'll go back to the apartment complex when... What well, when... Not yet, but after we get back from, uh... The Undercity, I suppose. Uh-oh, what do we have going on here? Let's switch back to regular armor. Otherwise, these people are going to be really mad at me, probably, because who can blame them? Hey, I'm no ape. Listen to me, people. Oh. That is a tap, friends and fellow humans. All right. I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. Oh, my the, name is Gorton the Rackles? Will you join my cause? We must band together if we are to stop the spread of vermin and scum throughout Taris. Are we talking about the Rackwolves? Ver vermin and scum? What are you talking about? I am speaking of the hideous-looking aliens who walk the world of Taris. Whoa! The Wookiees and Ithorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them! Listen, friend, for these are dark times. Whoa! That is why I, whoa, whoa, Gordon whoa, Kodum, racist! Have formed the Anti-Alien League. Oh, the AAL. The time has come for action. We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. I don't know which is worse, your hate mongering or your ignorance. Back off, you crazy cook. Kook, not cook. I don't have time for this. I see you well. Good luck in your crusade. I don't know which is worse, your, your hate mongering or your ignorance. You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Yeah, Come fuck on. you. We should keep moving. Cook or no, people like him can make trouble for us. Listen, he's old. I can totally take him. It pains me to see that an alien lover us at the right. day of reckoning. Okay. Get away from me, you crazy... Get away from me, you bigot. Back off, you crazy cook. I don't have time for this. You are like all the rest. Come on. All right. We should keep moving. Okay. I, I wasn't sure if anything else happened if I talked to him a second time, so I figured I would just see if anything happened. Uh, so let me just put on the Sith armor, and... Hey, buddy. Mm-hmm, that's me. Uh-huh. Those gangs will take a shot at anyone, even us. It's too bad we don't have the manpower just to sweep those slums clean. Oh, alright then. Let me just uh, open this door, don't mind me. Yay, let's go. Welcome to the lower city, where everyone is just really, really mad. All the time. Also, they shoot everyone. All the time. Welcome. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just gonna stand here. Oh, there's something going on over here? Hello? Oh, we got a gang war. We got a gang war. 
Pamulci Kamana. Ichuta, yun patisa, imani chalora kun. Oh, well, I guess we know who's stronger now. Oh, damn. Yeah, buddy, you should probably put some armor on. You're just wearing plain clothes. Yeah, good job. Oh, that's me. I'm the stranger. Yep, that's a me. How you doing there? How many grenades do I have? I have... Okay. Uh, so I have poison and frag. That's it. Ah, let's just... Let's just go with my sword then. Hell, oh, one down. Karth, don't say that. They never ask for it. It's, that's really insensitive, Karth. Oh, nice. Thank you, Karth. Always nice to have you around. Despite your ignorance, they're never asking for it, no matter what they wear. So don't even say that, alright? It's just really... Re really rude. It offends me. It offends a lot of people. Well, yeah, it does offend a lot of people. Welcome to Tumblr. I'm just taking everything Karth says out of context, because I can. Oh, let me just, uh... Oh, uh, let's move away from them, because they're not going to be happy if I just run up to them and say, How do you do? And then try and murder them, and they'll try and murder me. And they'll probably win. Alright. Well, a little little bit of uh, staining on the floors. Alright, don't mind me. Just, uh... No problem. Got it. Get hey. Bona. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, that's why I had to break in. Uh, what are you, what are you doing in here? This place looks abandoned. Uh, are you in some sort of trouble? Do you want to talk about it? Okay. Don't get upset, I'll go. Okay, I'm sorry, sir. Can, can, can I take anything from you? I mean, I can, but I don't think he's going to get mad, right? Nope, not mad? Not mad. Okay, good. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I like how it's just boarded up, <laughs> boarded up doors. It's like, yeah, no. It's just, uh, I mean, there's nothing to see anyway. We're in the lower city. Oh, hello. Oh, one down. One more to go. Oh, just bashed him right over the head. Just like, here's my sword. What do you think of it? Oh, sweet. All right, I uh, I remember this. All right, so let's uh, the Twisted Rancor Trio. All right, inventory, all items. Uh, how do I switch that though? Um. All right. Oh, here we go. Um. All right. Guts and Glory: A Chronicle of the Amazing Story of the Twisted Rancor Trio by Gilthus. Uxaris, a work in progress, the origins of what uh, would eventually become the most famous band in the galaxy are, are surprisingly humble. The brains behind the group manager Gilthos Uxaris founded the trio to earn a date with a young si singer named Elinda. The ploy worked and Elinda became the first member of the band. Uh, Gilthos scrambled to find musicians to back her and signed a bith named Uja to be the lead musician. Soon after that, he signed Uja's brother, Uji. To complete the trio, the band struggled at first. Alinda was a fantastic singer, but Uja wasn't much of a musician. When Alinda threatened to quit, Gilthos fired Uja and signed another bith named Lupa. Of course, this didn't go over well with Uja's brother, and Uji quit. Fortunately, Lupa knew another musician named Photo, who joined to replace Uji. Led by Alinda's singing, the second incarceration... Uh, incarna incarnation, not incarceration, of the Twisted Rancor Trio became quite popular on their homeworld of Terrace, eventually attracting the attention of local legitimate businessman Davik Kang. Davik asked Gilthos to bring his group in for a command uh, command performance. Gilthos agreed, realizing that this could be the band's big break. Unfortunately, Alinda had heard certain uns unsubstantiated rumors about Davik Kang and his connections to the exchange. Fearing for her life, she refused to go to the state to perform. Many felt that without Alinda singing, the band would crumble, but Gilthos came up with a brilliant plan to save the group by hiring Alinda's sister, Ashana, as the new lead singer on the eve of their scheduled appearance at Davik's estate. Gilthos knew he was taking a risk. If Ashana couldn't perform at Alinda's level, Davis, Davik's infamous temper could have dire con consequences for the entire band. However, if Ashana could match her sister's performance, then Davik was likely to sign the band to a big-time touring contract. It was a risk, but the Twisted Rancor trio was founded on guts and glory. There are no further entries. 
All right, so um, all right, so that's Uji. How do I change? Let me take a look at the controls real quick. Um, gameplay, key mapping, uh, movement. Free look, look about. I just want to know how to switch targets. Oh, it's Q and E. Okay. So, oh, all right. Uh, photo, Ashana, Alinda, Uja, Lupa, Uji. All right, so. Uh, so. Wait, so. Linda's first, and then Uji, Uja, uh, Uji, and then it was, uh, I think it was Lupa next. Well, let me double check just in case. Last thing I want is to get this wrong, so... Um... So, Linda... Uja... Uji... Okay, so Lupa... Is next. So then Lupa... And then... Uh... Then it's Photo... And finally... Ashana. There we go. Alright, did that. There we go. Beautiful. Let me check the armor real quick. Uh, compared to mine. Okay, so it has a better dex bonus, but less defense. So I'm going to give that to Karth instead of myself. Uh, whoops, wrong thing. Uh, let me see. So four and five and five and five. Alright. Wonderful. Let me switch back to me. Sure. All right. Uh, all right, let's just finish up in this apartment building. Oh, hello there. How you doing? Don't mind me. I'm just here to murder you. Yes, you were just hanging out in your house. Yes, I am technically breaking and entering. But there's no police down here because this is gang territory. Ugh, even when I lower the volume for this game, this game is still You're loud as dicks. Jesus Christ, it's loud. I'm gonna have to lower it again just because it's so ridiculously loud and I'm going deaf as always. Oh, God. Alright. Alright, let's just... That should be much better, I think. Alright, um... I'll check the remains, obviously. Otherwise, what was the point of coming in here? I'm about to die, by the way, so... Uh, let me heal up. I have 18 med packs, really? Wow, that's uh, pretty good. Ready? Yep. No, you heal up too, buddy. Just uh, one more for you too. All right, sure. lovely. Let me just uh, pull up this Foot Locker, not to be confused with the store. Get all those items, lovely. And oh nope, got these supplies over here too. Med pack. Great. I just uh, got back half the med packs that I used. Problem solved. Apartment door. What's behind door number one? Or in this case, like it's like door number four, but you know, whatever. You asked for this. Oh, they asked for it all right. You tell them, Karth. Karth, attack! He's just standing there. Alright, fine. I'll do everything on my own. Yeah, thanks so much, Karth. Great job, buddy. Great, great job. Uh get all items. And now Do they have any remains? I'm stuck on Karth. I'm stuck on you, buddy. Stuck on you. Alright, that's got nothing. Let's go. God, I love this game. <laughs> I really do. Uh, repair the droid or leave it alone. Eh, let's leave it alone for now. I can repair it another time. Not that it's really gonna help. Hi there, how you doing? Let me just murder you, alright? Yes, I know I broke into your home. It's okay, though. Why? Because I said so. Also, you're kind of a dick. You work for the bad gang members. I want to work for the good gang members. Yes, there is such a thing as good gang members. I mean, it prob probably in real life, too. I was going to say in the game, but... 
There, there's gotta be good guy gang members out there somewhere, I suppose. Alright, uh, so let's head down this way. Oh, welcome to the lower city where everything's broken. It looks like shit. Oh, we got Javiar's Cantina. Let's, uh... What do we have over here? And then there's the hidden vex over there. Ah, let's go into the cantina. Alright. Oh, we got... Uh... Who are you? Uh-huh. You don't say. Oh, you just want to sell me cards. Yeah, no. I'm fine, but thank you for your offer. How you doing? Greetings, stranger. My name is Gelrud. Are you a Pazak player by chance? Oh, he just wants to play Pazak too. Never mind. I'm fine. I'm not much of a gambling man. Uh-oh, what do we have here? Oh, look, it's it's the Midget Man. Go away. One. You guys might want to back off. Three. Uh-oh. He counted to three. Uh-oh. He only shot twice. But there were three people. How did he do it? Oh, I want... Mr. Nord. No I'm, way. I'm, a, I'm a big fan. I, I saw how you mopped up those black Vulcars. Nice, nice work. One. Oh, but, but sir... Uh, I'm not. I'm not looking for a fight. I just want to talk. Two. Oh, but uh. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll just be going then. Smart. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you ever so much. Let, let me just check the remains now. Thank you for the free stuff, sir. Thank. Thank you. All right. Very. Very good. Oh, we got Holden over here. You gotta know how to hold him. Know when to fold him. Uh oh. What do we got? What's going on? What's going on over here, buddy? I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Ouch. That smells like bantha poodoo. Oh ho, she got you bad. Who you call a little girl, Chuba Face? Oh ho. Just a sec, boys. Sawbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. <laughs> Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. Are you calling him fat? What is this? Be nice, all right? You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. It's funny, because when you think about it, she really is just trying to start fights with everyone. <laughs> or at least with them. Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. Oh, you don't you say. You new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. Well, I mean... The, uh, you know, my first welcoming committee was the Black Volkers, but they weren't very friendly about it. Uh, hey, we speak the same language! It's not that strange. Well, I mean... Most aliens can speak basic, they just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Volkers, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. 
But if there's anything else you need... Listen, you're a kid. I don't want that from you. How, how do a Wookiee and a Twi'lek -like street urchin end up as best friends? We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Uh, I want to ask you some questions. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. The iron is you're taller than him. Uh... Eh, you know what, we're... I'm good for now. Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Listen, he paid for his food, just let him eat already. Why are you, why you gotta be so mean to him? Zalbar, come back. I'll, I'll, I'll buy you some french fries. I'll buy you chili fries, alright? How's that sound? 